Well guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I get to bring you along for an easy pie dough recipe. And this is by request. So I've been asked over and over again to do it. And even though it's very, very simple, I decided that I'd go ahead and show you how to do this. Super simple, this is how I do it, but I also have a couple other ways to do it. So if you're interested in those, next time I make a pie or a pot pie, like I'm making tonight, then uh, I'll bring you along and show you those versions. Because there's a, a ton of different ways to do this. What I've got here in my bowl is a stick of butter. So you need, uh, you need butter. You can use um, lard, you can use Crisco, because this is a chicken pot pie, I actually could use schmaltz. But we're gonna go ahead and stick with butter today. And um, this is just kind of a fall splurge, first of the season. You're gonna need all purpose flour. And we're making a double crust, so I'm gonna use two cups of flour. And for this amount, I want a good teaspoon of salt. Now that's Himalayan pink salt that I pre-ground. and you're gonna go ahead and start the process of breaking up the butter chunks. And you want cold butter. That is key to this. And this is a pastry hook or pastry knife, whatever you wanna call it. You can do this with a fork and a knife. Um, the butter is very, very cold. So as you're working the dough with your pastry knife or pastry cutter, you'll see that the pieces get smaller and smaller. And these little pieces of butter are what's gonna puff up and make your crust really flaky. So you wanna get it to where you have, you know, pieces that are no big giant hunks. You can break it up with your hands, but you take a chance on it getting too hot. So, and melting your butter. We want to keep this cold. Now I've got some ice water here. I think we're about, about done. Run your hand through it, see what you got, and you're gonna have the size of, you know, they. everybody says peas, but they don't look anything like peas that I've seen, but small. So I've got a little bowl of ice water, and you're gonna go ahead and add a couple tablespoons at a time and start working this dough until it forms a dough ball. A little bit more water. And super important, the water's cold. Again, we don't want to heat up that butter. So you won't see the end result of this pie dough on this video, but on the very next video that I upload, you will see the pot pie that I made with this dough because I'm making this dough before work and then it goes in the refrigerator until I get home and I can take it out. And we still need more water, so that's probably a total of five tablespoons of water there. Might need a little bit more. So guys, go down in the About section below and check out all the links that I've left for you. I've got my Facebook page, my mailing address. I've got a link to Zacon Foods where you can go over and shop for bulk meats at a deep discount. And uh, I've even got my Roku channel down there. So you can go watch uh, my videos on Roku. Um, and I have an app you can upload on your phone for Roku. The link's down below. I need a little bit more water. It's almost there. When you feel like it's all coming together, you're usually pretty spot on, yeah. When it's picking everything up off the bottom. And you can form a nice dough ball with it. So that was about seven tablespoons of ice water, a stick of butter, and two cups of flour. Now I've got the dough the way I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands again. Okay, I've got my dough ball here. I'm putting it down on some saran wrap. 
and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and then tonight when I get home to put my pot pie together which is super easy I hope you watch that because a lot of the stuff comes out of my home can pantry and um, and leftovers you're just dressing it up in a different outfit all right so we're gonna wrap this up tight it goes in the refrigerator to cool it'll be nice and easy to roll out tonight when I get home from work all right I hope this inspires you, you guys to go ahead and try your hand at your own pie crust. And I will go ahead and show you the clips on rolling it out, but that's as far as I'm gonna go. You're gonna have to watch that other video. All right, <laughs> so I'm then. ready to finish my pie crust and I'm gonna blind bake this um, in my cast iron pie plate. And if you're interested in one of these, they're not super heavy, but they're fantastic. I have never made pie that tasted better than in this pan, I'm gonna tell you. So I'll leave you a link down below where you can get one off of Amazon. Fabulous. Okay, so we are going to unwrap our pie dough and it's gotten very, very hard and we wanna put down some flour because I've gotta roll it out. And we want some flour on our hands as well. I'm just gonna kind of spread that all out. Grab my bench scraper oh, and check that out. I got one, I ordered it off of Amazon. Because we're gonna have a top and a bottom crust, um, I wanna go ahead and pretty much cut this right in half. And then eyeball who might be bigger. I think this one's bigger and so the bigger one I'm going to leave for the top because it's got to go over the mound. The mound. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now we're going to roll this out. Are you guys excited? <laughs> Are you ex as excited as I am? I haven't had pot pie in a couple of years. Pretty sure. So you just get to rolling. And you're going to want to try to get this into a circle or circular sphere for your pie plate. Oh, I can see chunks of butter in this. And this is all you're gonna get on this particular video on how to make this pie crust. And you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next one and see how we used it. Cause we're having pot pie. And then you can get that recipe as well. So, it's and it doesn't fantastic. have to be perfectly round. It certainly helps, but it doesn't have to be. All right, let's see if we've got enough for this pie plate. Let's see how I got you. So we got our pie plate. I'm gonna bring this over and I preheated my oven because we're gonna do a blind bake. Um, and what, why I'm doing this for the pot pie is I don't want my crust to become soggy on the bottom. I don't think there's anything worse than a soggy pie crust, especially in a pot pie. So we've got our crust. We're gonna go ahead and lay that in here. Woo, look at that. And make sure that you're coming up the sides. And if, if you guys get covered in flour like I do, <laughs> go ahead and give me a thumbs up because it never fails. Now you can take beans and put, or, uh, you know, something weighted, you can put weights down here. I'm not gonna do that. I, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna dock the dough with a fork. And we're not leaving it in to completely cook it. We're just gonna par cook it. So this is gonna allow steam to come out of this dough and then we can move on. And I don't care if this dough is perfect because it's gonna be in my delicious pot pie and nothing could be perfect about a pot pie. It's got to be rustic. It's got to be homemade. It's got to be everything you ever remembered from your childhood. 
So let's put this in the oven. And I'm going to clean up the edge a little bit into a 400 degree oven for about mm, uh, maybe seven minutes. And then I'll bring it back. But this is the last you're going to see of it once I bring it out.